Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're learning about how to solve inequalities and graph their solution. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help, you use Minute Math. We're given three problems here. We want to solve each inequality, then we want to graph the solution on the number line, and write the solution in interval notation. Let's start with our first one. x minus 3 eighths is less than or equal to 3 fourths. Well, I want to get x by itself, so to do that I have to add a 3 eighths to both sides. Not too bad, we treat it just like an equal sign. So we have x here is less than or equal to, now 3 fourths plus a 3 eighths. Notice I didn't put 3 fourths here. Well, we want to have a common denominator when we add fractions, and so 3 fourths is the same as, if we put 8 in the denominator, a 6 eighths. Makes it easier to add. Then we have, well, x is less than or equal to 6 eighths plus 3 eighths. We add the numerator, and 6 plus 3 is 9. We get the denominator the same to be 8. So we have x is less than or equal to 9 eighths. Not too bad. So if you write this on a number line here, let's give some space. I'm going to put 0 here. I'm going to put 1 here. I'm going to put 2 here. And I put a negative 1 here. X is less than or equal to 9 eighths. 9 eighths is just above 1. That would be 8 eighths. So I'm looking at a value just above 1 here, and we said X can equal that 9 eighths. So we can put a closed circle right here, and we'll make a little mark and say that's at 9 eighths. You can see that 9 Oof. right there. Now that says X is also less than that value, so the arrow is going to go to the left. So we have X is less than 9 eighths. Eight, less than or equal to 9 eighths, how do we write that in interval notation? Well, the lowest value that x can be is negative infinity. Put a parenthesis there, negative infinity. The highest value that x can be, it says it goes up to 9 eighths and including 9 eighths, put a 9 eighths there and then we put a bracket showing that we can equal the 9 eighths. Alright, let's move on to the second example. We want to get well, y by itself, and I don't think it's equal sign, I think it's a less than sign here. That wouldn't be an inequality. Little note, inequality is these less than or <laughs> equal to signs right there. So it's a less than sign I want. All right. To do this, I want to divide both sides by 9. Let's get y by itself. y here is less than 54 divided by 9 is 6. Not too bad. So let's go write this on a number line here. Let's start with 6 in the middle, why not? And we go 7, 8, 9, and we have to left 5, 4, 3. What y is less than 6. It's not equal to 6, just less than. So we have an open circle there at 6, and since y is less than that, we put the arrow to the left from it. We have our graph, not too bad to write, so let's write our interval notation. The lowest value that y can be is a negative infinity, and remember with infinities we put parentheses. It can go up to a positive 6 here, and so 6 is the upper bound, but can we equal 6? No, we can't. It does not equal 6, so we have a parenthesis there as well. And now here we have our interval notation for our inequality. Lastly here, we want to get, well, z by itself. And to get z by itself, I'm going to rewrite this. Negative 15 is less than 3 fifths z. To get rid of the 3 fifths, I want to multiply this by 5 thirds, the reciprocal here. 5 thirds. The right hand side, 3's cancel, 5's cancel, and we have z by itself, inequality comes down. 3 goes into 15 5 times, and 5 times a negative 5 is a negative 25. Now, some of you are looking at this thinking, uh, I like having my variable first here, not second, right? We have negative 25 is less than z. And that's up to you. This is the same exact thing. If you flip it and we have a z first, negative 25 is less than z. It's the same thing as z is greater than a negative 25. Little fun fact there. So let's write a number line here. Let's just put negative 25 in the middle and let's go on both sides. Negative 24 to the right, negative 23, and then we have negative 26 and negative 27. All right. Z does not equal a negative 25, right? It's only greater than that. So we have an open circle here at negative 25. But Z is greater than a negative 25. So we go to the right with our arrow. To write this in interval notation, we start at the lowest possible value here, negative 25. 
Don't forget the negative, Sean. And we can't equal again negative 25, so we put a parenthesis. And we go all the way up to, well, positive infinity. It's going on forever. Infinity right there. Again, with infinity, we put a parenthesis. And there we have it. We have solved three examples of inequalities. We graphed the solution as well as wrote the solution in interval notation. I hope you learned something here on how to solve inequalities and graph their solution. If you did, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel and like this video. This helps us make more of these free math lessons for you and for everyone else. So as always, thanks for watching.